hey, we're actually in the Temple of Time again this time, and we're actually going to do something about it. Hell yeah, stones. Wait. Oh no, what are we doing? There's three hollows, and... So one for your cock, two for your balls? Oh, fuck. What? I'm... Jesus Christ. <laughs> hey, I didn't... Is this the Triforce I keep talking about? I... I guess. I mean, they can't argue that. So, so in the Legend of Zelda world, the Triforce is the oldest depiction of cock and balls ever? It's been around since the beginning of time. And, and Link is here now to get his balls to drop in the Temple of Time. It's the puberty creation station. Hmm... He's legal now, ladies. Well, not yet. Well, not yet, not yet. He has a door to go through first. Also, I kind of want to point something really strange out, is right now you can kind of see that Link isn't wearing any pants or shirt or anything like that. You know, I noticed that the other day when he was jumping into a chest. I didn't want to say anything, it seems so untoward, but... Now that you've brought it up. Yeah, it's, uh... I think we're gonna fix that very shortly. He's ready for some pants. Yeah, it's about time we got some pants to, to go with the one-size-fits-all tunic. The Master Sword emits from the Triforce. I remember it being a lot more uh, impressive than that. I tried to grab it from the back because I wasn't sure if there's actually something that you could do, but no, you can't. That's kind of disappointing. Like, to be honest, I would, I'm surprised they didn't just, like, put the grab thing there and just make the character animation go from the front. Because there's a cutscene, but, you know. Oh, and there's a trap all along. Hey, why'd you leave the door open? No, you know, funny thing is you can make your way through that door and leave it closed, and this cutscene still happens when you grab the Master Sword. So did he show up right behind you, or is he talking to you telepathically? I don't know, he's on a horse, like, leaving last time we seen him, so... Telepathy seems like a great idea. You're the chosen one, you're Johnny Cage. We don't quite have the the martial arts expertise as Johnny Cage. I don't know, you did have that sweet overhand slash with the Deku stick. <laughs> Just gonna club everyone with them now. Fortunately, I think uh, we lost our ability to use sticks. Whoa, sweet chops, man. I think this is... um. I think this is actually the little bit of cut content from this game, is I think there was supposed to actually be a Temple of Light, or a Temple of Time dungeon. And instead they just, uh, made it a cutscene. So everything kind of leads up to there being something a little bit more in this temple, but no, it's just a Master Sword. And we have a nice shirt and some pants. Yeah, who gave you pants? Maybe you're just pa maybe you're just that pasty from being in the Temple of Time for. But why is our face okay? Like were we in a tanning booth, but we had our face covered? Or the inverse of a tanning booth? So, seven years. So you're 14? Uh, close enough. I don't... You know what? I have no idea what the age gap is supposed to be. Or I know what the age gap is supposed to be. I don't know what the ages are supposed to be. I think it's 8 and then 15 or something. 9 and 17. Or 16. I don't think it really matters. I just know he's a teenager now. He's gonna go through his rebellious phase. 
He's ready to play his music too loud. Give Raru the finger. Get the fuck out of here. Yep. Like, I'm pretty sure the Master Sword didn't choose us, and we instead, like, picked it up. Yeah, I think this that... This is one of those Excalibur things. Yeah, especially because the Bigoron Sword is definitely way better than the Master Sword. Which I hope you go get that sword, like, immediately and just use it for the rest of the game. We don't. What? <laughs> Spoiler. We will be getting it. But you're not going to use it? Um... No, we're going to use it when we get it. It's just I didn't get it yet. Nah, that was the first thing I did. And doing that will actually lock you... If you didn't do all the child stuff we did, it'll lock you out of being able to get Deku Nuts. Can, now, can you still go get more Deku Nuts if you went back? Sorry, I, I, I missed that. It locks you out from being able to get the Deku Nut upgrade from uh, oh. from the masks. It's a bug that they didn't fix until the 3D version, actually. Wait, why not? Uh... You can still use the slingshot as an adult. Trust me, I go do it right now. Man. Maybe his hands just got really meaty. <laughs> There's a very small slingshot. You've been an adult for all of, like, two minutes, you've got lady trouble already. This isn't a lady, it's a man. I guess without a voiceover, we can't know. Yeah. More proof that voice acting would ruin the Zelda series. Inside the Goddess of the Sand. Mmm, baby. Uh. It's a new endo, have I ever heard it? You haven't been an adult long, Link, but you'll understand how to unlock that soon enough. <laughs> perfect, perfect camera cut right there. We have to wake five dudes up from, uh, from having a nap. That's rude as hell. Eh... First one we have to go to is a forest temple, apparently. Except that you said nuts to that. Uh, we are actually going to the forest temple. Oh, are we? Oh. The way it's gated in Master Quest is you pretty much have to go to the forest temple first. Another skill. Yeah, another skill. You should, uh, make note of that. Because I don't think we need another skill, quote-unquote. So this no text actually changes after you, uh, do you turn adult. And we're backwards again. Yeah, we're walking backwards again. Mount Doom is super pissed. Yeah, we should, uh, we should take a visit there. Zombies in the market. Yeah, the market's all fucked up. The castle's all fucked up. It's flying. I don't remember the castle looking like that. Spikes on it. Yeah, they they contracted spike makers from Hellscream. <laughs> They contracted the orcs. Like from 40k, it's not red, so probably not. They they couldn't afford paint. So can you guess why we're going up here? Dive into the lava. Yeah, we're gonna have a jump in the lava in a moment here. There's a there's a buddy below us. A buddy. Uh, yeah. Oh, I hear him now. The, there is another way to get him. 
but for some reason I was having no tr no luck uh, actually making the jump off that little ledge. So instead we're just going to, uh, to fall down and grab them. Because we don't want to come back here with the hookshot. And fall down back into the lava. Man, the same sound effect that you when you died Mario 64. Maybe. Is it? No. I don't know. Those zombies always creep me out. Yeah, they freaked me the hell out. When I was a kid anyways. Oh yeah, it's Poe catching. Th I think this is you personified, actually. Oh really? Yeah. I can't read people's minds. No, but... Ha 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 ha! a few other good lines, but... Yeah. I could be as handsome as you. They hate the world. So there's angry teenagers too. Angsty teenagers. <laughs> yes. Poe salesman, let down your hood. Uh, no points. So another thing that he does is like those Poe's kind of try to escape, uh, and they kind of turn the camera at the exact time. But when he waves a sick stick, he'll uh, send them all back into their cages. Yeah, I gotta keep that pimp hand strong. Yeah, so that bridge is all fucked up, so it's always open now, regardless of time of day. It's night time now, um, so we gotta fix that. How different will it be? Um, a little bit. And you're asking early, like in the previous video, if uh, if time of day changed, if you were moving or anything like that, in that kind of like grayed off area near uh, uh, what the fuck's the place called now? The castle, anyways. Like, uh, time is actually slowed down when you're in that grayed off area. Hmm. That lady seems sad. Yeah. We have a good camera angle of this person's face. Pocket cuckoo. Pocket chicken. You could have a snack any time. Mmm. <laughs> you look like you're good at handling chickens. Cox. Here, take this. Yeah, I think we'll try it. Yeah, it gave you a nest and everything. Overnight, huh? Well, I think I know what's gonna happen next. It's ocarina time. Uh, no. We're, we're actually gonna let it hatch na naturally. Oh. Not gonna force your science on it? No. Can you fight that with a sword? We can fight it with a sword, but it hit us, so we can now move, even though that thing's still getting dragged. Oh, Dompe. Say hello to Dompe. You quit throwing fire, you dick! Some angel! Spoiler, I don't do very good against Dompe sometimes. Uh, this time happens to be one of those times. I roll into fire a lot. Sorry. What's the time you have to beat to get... I think like a minute and ten seconds. I think the fastest you can do it with no uh, just natural movement is 46 seconds. So you mean if you didn't roll at all you could make it? Yeah, if you didn't roll at all you could just follow him. Wow. There's a bit of a glitchy ledge there. And if you uh, jump slash at the top of the jump, uh, you'll get get there a little faster. It's very minute, but every little bit helps. So we did it in a minute, which isn't that great. But if it was enough? It was enough, yeah. His treasure. Oh, wow, that is quite the treasure. Yeah, hookshot. Why does he have that? 
he invent it? Well, I guess so. I wasn't really reading. I think he said something about that, though. I've seen these cutscenes so many damn times. He's like Freddy Krueger. He's designed it. Yeah, it's, uh... Probably one of the best normal items in the game. I don't think they do too much crazy shit with it in this game, but I think in the uh, the later Zeldas they really refine what's up with it. Oh yeah. In this game it just kind of exists. Also, if you uh, have the door close on you at any given point, it'll reset you to the beginning of the place. The door close on you. So uh, we're gonna race Dampe again. And I uh, kind of skipped through his text the first time, so this is all his text. And we did it in 58 seconds. Wow! Two better. Yeah. I think my practice run did in like 49 and then 53 respectively, so... Is that the best thing you get from him, or can you get more from him? Uh, you only get the piece, one piece of heart. So we never have to see Dumpe again. Sorry, Dumpe. Man. Just moving on up to the big old city. Never coming back to see your buddy. Yeah, once in a while. I'll see you, buddy. So we're gonna equip the hookshot right away, because it's, uh... It's really useful. Ah, this music. Are there just two rows of hearts in the game? Uh, just two rows, yeah. If you, uh, you can go beyond that with uh, a few glitches, and it just keeps uh, adding on to the second row. <laughs> Who's this guy? What'd you do to him? Apparently we, uh, we played a song for him, and it made the windmill spin. Oh. Seven years ago. I don't remember doing this. Do you think we're ever gonna do this? Doing it right now. Well, we're learning the song, because we need it for other reasons. Ah. Uh. To get into the bottom of the well. Now it's raining inside. Yeah, that, that, <laughs> I don't understand what the fuck. How is it raining inside? That's not how windmills work. Maybe his, maybe his roof is no good. Oh, I guess. That is a lot of rain to be letting in. I thought he wanted to fight you, and then he's like, oh, never mind. I'll teach you this song instead. One thing I'm gonna note is I'm really bad at aiming on Virtual Console. So, you're gonna see me, like, jumping the hookshot around all over the place to try to hit some of the targets. It's alright, it's just like... to Michael J. Fox and his hookshot. Too soon? I don't think so, but... Can you wear the tiny Deku shield as adult Link for comedy? No. That's rude. You can't. His little, uh... Or sorry, his big manly arms cannot hold it. It's like he can't hold the slingshot or Deku sticks. Sausage fingers. It's a sweet backflip. Yeah, otherwise you just kind of grab onto the ledge there. We're gonna see... a buddy. Sword time! Do it! Bomb Jews are very useful. I will not have anybody tell me otherwise. Also, I've turned into a hero of the Gorons. Oh, God. What, you don't like the, the Dongo Busters? No, it's just... Koobs is talking to Koobs, and I'm a little confused now. You've never had two friends of the same name? Yeah, we gave everybody nicknames. <laughs> well, we've just met, so... It's kind of awkward. A dragon. Oh, 
don't know if Coobs is crying. Just give him a bomb. A lit bomb. It'll calm him right down. You can eat that. It'll be fine. Wait, the dragon's name was Volva? It's weird. Volvagia. Sounds... Sounds inappropriate. Go wash your mouth out with soap, kid. Volvagia is kind of phallic. I think it's the opposite of phallic. Uh... Wait, what's the opposite of phallic? Vaginic? No. I'm a doctor, it's a technical term, you can use it. Okay. <laughs> I, 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 I'm just flabbergasted at this point. Sweet, Ganondorf's doing ritual sacrifice. He just starts on metal band. <laughs> wow, just like that, he gives you... He gives us a new set of clothes. And it specifically says it's adult sized. Yeah. Unlike the tunic we're wearing, which is one size fits all. Like, is there ever a point to wear the green tunic again? There isn't, is there? It's, uh, it's stylish. Yeah, okay. How are you backflipping and blowing it up? Because if you drop it mid-air, it, uh, it doesn't understand what to do, so it just explodes. Oh, the bomb tree? Yeah. Yeah, buy it! We're gonna buy a knife. Yeah. And it'll break. It's, uh, it's pretty strong. Well, you remember Prower Crouch stabbing, right? Yeah. So, say you were to equip that weapon, Jump Slash, and then re-equip your Master Sword. Uh, the power crouch stab will have the damage of that jump slash still. Yeah. So it's effectively double the damage of your jump slash, or double the damage of the master sword. Just for 200 rupees. So that it breaks, you actually hit anything with it? Um, it has a few swings to it. I think if you actually hit enemies, it doesn't break. Uh, it's only if you hit solid objects or a shield. Ah. No, funny to meet you here. You're gonna burn to death now. Mm-hmm, we have a minute. Oh no. You're gonna hit on. Power of the heart. Is this the version... Is this the version with or without the, uh, the Muslim text? Uh, are you talking about the one I'm playing on? Yes. Oh, how'd you do that? Uh, I fucked up when I was recording. <laughs> I very rarely fuck up the song, but somehow I did, because I completely forgot it. Um, I believe the... That text is only on the 1.0, 1.1 version. I think the Master Quest is based off the 1.2 version. Oh, right. This is Master Quest, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Pre so pretty much any release other than the N64 releases will have the have that information censored. Oh, is, so all N64 releases had it? Uh, not all of them. It's just the uh, specifically version one, so pretty much the initial release and then the subsequent uh, re-release. What about the gold version? Uh, the gold version is 1.2. Is it really? Yes. I thought the gold version was the initial release. I don't believe so. Majora's Mask uh, is always a gold cart, so you might be confusing it with that. No, I thought I had Ocarina of Time as a gold cartridge. No, it did come in gold cartridges, but it was 1.2. Huh, I thought I got it right when I came out. I don't know. I'll have to look that up. I honestly don't know when the print dates were or anything like that. I just know that there's different versions of them and what each version has. There's probably no way to tell on the N64, is there? Uh, you can tell. It's, uh, like some little text on the back of the, uh, card, cart. Hmm. I'd have to look it up. Also, I'm... Very good at songs. <laughs> Don't worry. 
Let's play him a Pona song, that'll tell him how good we are with Saria. <laughs> and then prior to that, I think I played the Majora's Mask song. Does this game recognize it as something, or...? No, it doesn't. Not like you couldn't have learned it just by standing here in the forest for long enough, being slowly driven insane by it. <laughs> There's just an orchestra somewhere playing this song constantly. Saria has, like, a whip. She's, like, making them play. <laughs> She'll commissar the shit out of them if they don't. Narrow passages. Take it slow. <laughs> Take it slow. Make sure you're always looking in the right place. So you can see down the what? Oh, you know. I <laughs> won't be surprised. <laughs> so, her advice is actually kind of really shitty, to be honest. Um, they didn't really fix... Uh, her advice until Master, er, not Master Quest, sorry, but Majora's Mask. Also, we're gonna do something a little bit tricky here. We're just gonna skip everything. Yeah! Uh, you can do that legitimately as well. That seemed legitimate. Not that that isn't legitimate, um, but if you go get Scarecrow's song uh, before coming here, you can just call the Scarecrow and you'll have a hookshot target to uh, skip past everything with. Instead of doing the little tricky jump there. What are those guys called? I don't remember. Like, I, I legitimately don't remember. They have really strange names, like Raphael or something like that. No, I only remember them from, like, the cartoon. The Legend of Zelda cartoon. Where they dictated speedrunning before anything else. God, I have to find that gif now. <laughs> It's a gif of Link, uh, <laughs> dropping a bomb under himself, and then, uh, jumping on top of it as it explodes, and then he sends himself flying. <laughs> huh. before I, this game even came out. It's like, holy shit, they predicted everything. Although I don't think it's as, uh, it's quite as good as, uh, the Zelda CDI version. Because those had some amazing fucking cutscenes. CDI? Yeah, it was like a uh, really shitty console that came out for a very short period of time. Hmm. And it had like three different Zelda games on it, and they all had, um, like, cartoon-type graphics. With live-action cutscenes? Well, live-action as in cartoons, oh. and the cartoons were really hilariously badly animated. And they had voice acting. Throwing Deku Nuts through the shit. Yeah, she she runs away. Does anything even produce Deku Nuts anymore now that you killed the tree? Tree killer. <laughs> 